Method overloading allows a class to have more than one method with the same name as long as the parameter lists are different. The method name along with the number and type of its parameters is called the method signature and the return type of a method has no influence on overloading only the method signature. So let's overload some methods. So let's create a method again called add public static int add int a comma int b. This will return a plus b and we can actually have multiple add methods public static int add and this one is just going to add a int b and int c and we can return a plus a plus b plus c and we can have a third add method public static that returns a string and we're adding string a and string b then we need to return a plus b again so notice that there's three methods all of them are called add and the only differences between them are the number and type of parameters this one has the parameters of int comma int the parameters here are int comma int comma int and this one is string comma string so as long as the parameter number and type look different you can have as many methods that you want in the same class with the exact same name add and this gives you options on what you could add so now back in the main method I could say system dot out dot print line let's add one and two and I'm going to copy this and paste it below and add one two and three and I'm also going to add hello and world with a space in between and I'm going to run the program and check this out the first add method takes two arguments one and two so it finds the the right add method that only takes two arguments so this one takes two and this one takes two but because they're both integers it's gonna bind to this one and it's gonna return the sum of a plus b which is three and we're passing in one and two so a becomes one b becomes two and we get three in the next example we're passing three arguments to the add method and the only one with three of them that are typed integer is this middle add method so it's going to bind to this one sum up a b and c and print out the sum of one two and three which is six and then in the third add method we're passing two strings two string literals hello and world to the add method so it's not going to go to this one because this is only expecting two integers and this one is expecting three integers this one is expecting two strings and so that's the right one it binds to it it returns a plus b so it concatenates them together because they're strings and it builds a bigger string called hello world and it prints it to the screen and this is basically method overloading having multiple methods in the same class with the same exact name that differ by the number and type of the parameters also it's important to take note that the return type has nothing to do with method overloading I mean if you were to have another method called add that takes two things and you change this to void let's just say you printed out some data rather than return it a plus b you get an error because you can't overload these methods because the parameters are both int and int two integers in a row the return type has nothing to do with that and you can't call it add anymore you have to call it something different like add add two or something like that then that error will go away so method overloading only looks at the method name and the parameters it doesn't care about anything else